Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. I'm here today, James Byrne. So ADT, you're currently playing? ADT, yeah. So you've played Asian Tour, very good player, but based in Bangkok, so I've been lucky you've come into the centre today, hit some shots, but we've got your clubs, and they're slightly different than what you might think from a tour player's perspective, as in they're, some of them are quite old. Yeah, a couple of years old, yeah. Some are, some are very old, but we're going to have a quick chat about like what you've got and kind of why you've picked them. So we're going to start at the bottom, at the good bit, the wedges. The wedges, yeah. I have to say, when I was with Robert Colson, I said that let's start at the good end of the driver. He said I like wedges. Yeah. So wedges are good. Wedges are your friend. So you have got four wedges. Have you always used a four wedge system? I always have, yeah. I experimented with the 52, 58 wedge, pitching wedge. Okay. But uh, I just I don't like having the big gaps. You no. Know, six degree gap. It's nice to have four degree gap. It's about 12 yards for me. Okay. Uh, 12, 15 yards in that way. And do you do like a pelts kind of? Not there, really. Or you, it's just, it's you nice just knowing like 60 goes 95 max, 56 goes about 108, 110 max. So it's quite a small okay. gap. And uh, you know, I feel good when I'm inside, so 120. Yeah, I, I've done it before. I, I went to 50. 258 and I, I was struggling you know I, I, there were just too many it's gaps like 20 yards right yeah. between those two so uh. yeah I, the, you get guys on tour that do that but I, I, this is what I do so I like that um, in terms of bounces so you are just standard I think yeah just 8, 10 12 yes yeah, so you got the M grind the S grind F grind so yeah the kind of middle of the road you can see that you got a bit of wear there which you tend to get anyway do you, so you practice with these practice ones? Yeah, look at the car, oh, look at that. <laughs> See, my wedges never look like that. I, I spread the wear. But yeah, no, there we go. So they're the wedges, four wedges. Um, shafts, dynamic gold, tour issue? Yeah, X1s. X100. Yeah. And is that, so that's what you've got in the irons. And the irons are the MB, yep. MB forged. And this is the 714 yeah. range. So you've had these a while then? Just haven't. Uh, I don't get free irons anymore, so no. I'm sticking with the old ones. <laughs> and you look, and you're always blades. Have you? Yeah, I've been I've used a blade since uh, what the Mizuno MP32 would it have been about ten. Yeah, would have been. I, I, did I have thirty? Yeah, I had thirty. It was the thirty-two and the thirty-seven. Yeah, yeah, I loved them. I had so the thirty-twos. Stuck, stuck with blades since then, yeah. Okay. Cool. And how how far do you tend to hit like your five iron? Actually, I find these don't go too far. I uh, I spin these quite a lot. Which okay. Is, I actually like. Hitting uh, sort of higher, spinny rounds, uh, five iron maybe 195, okay. 200 max. So uh, it's actually short now. A lot of guys kind of hit a five iron 210, um, but lower and kind of yeah. less spin. I prefer hitting a bit more in the air. So. And you've got so with that, so you then have a hybrid. Yeah, it's a 19. I, I have two iron and a hybrid. Oh, you got two iron. Yeah, Let's look at the two iron. Oh, okay. This is actually 15 clubs. I'm cheating right now. Okay. So you got uh, so yeah, seven, twelve years. So you've got like the utility iron. All that, so you never carry both of these? No. Um, this, I always carry these and then just switch between these two depending okay. on the course. Uh, this is obviously a little bit higher, softer coming into greens. And then if it's a tight course, I can use the two iron and hit it about okay. 270 sometimes if it's firm. So it's nice to be able to have the choice. And you get like, like I've been finding uh, like in Thailand that although it's quite warm, you'd expect the courses to be quite firm and they're actually water quite a lot, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I'm usually using this to be honest. Um, yeah because you're just not getting any runs, so no. the two iron has no advantage. And then, um, you know, if I'm 240 out, I can hit this into a green and it stops okay. pretty much immediately rather Perfect. than the two. And that's what I used to do, like link, links cord, like back home, and it's like links courses, mm -hmm. you, would, you would put this I don't one. see much need for the hybrid on links. No. Uh, you know, when I go back home, I'm using the two iron more often than not. And as okay. I said, if it's firm and windy, you can squeeze it out there, sometimes 300. Yeah. Okay, nice. And the, yeah, you can, links courses. Yeah. And then, so three wood? What have yeah, we got here? One, yeah. Put that in the bag about two months ago, and uh, I use it almost as a driving club, kind of like yeah. Stenson. Uh, so you've got like the T3. So this is like thir 13 degrees, I would imagine. Yeah, it's 14. Uh, 14. Uh, a friend gave it to me, so I can't tell you too much about it. Okay. It goes, it goes really far, uh, which I like. And you've got a. Okay, how's it? I don't even but know what you have to do. A very, a very special. That is a tour. It's a tour Japanese issue. Thing, yeah, it? it's a Japanese tour issue shaft. Right, there you go. You Very should nice. be happy. Oh, okay. It goes well, so that's all. <laughs> uh, but yeah. some guys like a sort of 15 degree that, again, goes a bit higher, maybe 260. Um, this one is, like I said, don't hit it straight at Stenson, but it's yeah. good off the tee. I can hit it sometimes 300 yards. So okay. It's, uh, 
a good substitute from a driver if it's if it's a tight course. Yeah, so you are basically using it like Stenson. Would they be, would I they use it quite a lot, yeah. And if I'm if it's a 600 yard par five, it gives me the chance to reach because you know I can hit it from sort of 280. To okay, yeah. ideal. And then getting into the driver, finally a proper club. Yeah. What? What's wrong with those? No, it's Callaway. <laughs> Callaway, oh, okay. I'm all about Callaway. See, look at mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Callaway boy. I'm still to upgrade to the Epic, but this, <laughs> this is a really good club, though. Yeah, th this was good. So, XR Pro, nine degrees. You've got the Aldilla, Aldilla in there. Mm. So yeah, pretty, pretty standard setup. And you, you always find in like nine degrees. Is that what you? Oh no, you've actually got it down at eight. About yeah, I've got it down. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Ideally, my next driver will be even lower. Um, okay. Because I, uh, I hit down on the on the ball slightly at the moment. Um, so I'm just creating a little bit too much spin yeah. and it's, it's going a bit high. I'd rather have less loft and then I think that would just naturally enable me to hit up in it and yeah. not worry about losing it too high in the air. So. No, no, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure. And that one, it's got a bit of a dent in it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think there was uh, <laughs> airline or something like that. Damn, airlines. Yeah. But we won't, we won't, won't, yeah, we won't, we won't <laughs> name and shame. And then this one, that's fine, the driver goes fine. Yeah, then this one, now this isn't a special, very special club. So Scotty Cameron, but it's a tour issue. Yeah, this is probably the uh, the only club in my bag worth talking about. It's uh, I got that at the Scotty Cameron studio okay. in California about six years ago. Um, so Scotty Cameron wasn't actually there, but his uh, assistant was there, and it's an amazing place. Yeah. If you've ever been there. Uh, I haven't. I'd li I'd like to go. Uh, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. So uh, they fitted me out with that, and then well, basically walk in, choose whichever part you want, get fitted out, get your paint job, whatever you yeah. like, and. Um, yeah, it's, I've never switched. It's it's a part of so it's uh, you know unless the face gets twisted or bent somehow. Yeah, yeah. Using it. And nice, and you just and you I noticed as well. Like, the, was this the grip that they originally the grip got? They gave me. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know why, but it's uh, I like it because it's thicker on the yes. on the left hand. Yeah, they. Uh, right hand for me, I play left hand low, but um, okay. Just it's just a solid feeling of I don't know. It's almost like the, you know the fat grips that people use yeah. for super strokes. But you still get the, the feel on the bottom of the, the thin. Yeah, no, this, um, yeah, he started doing them, didn't he, a few years ago? And it's a uh, yeah, beautiful looking putter. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, so this one will definitely stay. Yeah, I think that'll stay for a while. Um, it's got a few scratches in the bottom. A few, well, sc a few scratches. I'd noticed you lost. I'd show the head cover, but it's you've the lost head the head cover. cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my caddies lost it last week. <laughs> and do you ever, on a serious note, do you worry, like with some of these clubs? Like obviously you use them so much, the like wear. wearing wearing the grooves out. I think my pitching wedge is getting quite worn. Um, it's not too bad, really. I, just, I think people freak out sometimes with with wear marks. But yeah. You got to think that in the old days they used the same irons for yeah, years yeah. and years and years. So. Um, it's like very. It's like Tiger used to like take like every four months. I think he used to like yeah. switch them out. I think it's more a superstition thing, to be honest. Yeah. Don't see any difference in performance, so okay. unless uh, the ball starts going sideways, then I'll switch. Back. Okay. Apart from that, and fine. which ball do you use? Um, just switched to the Pro VX 17. Okay. And you noticing any difference? Uh, not a massive difference, but the first time I played with it, I shot 61, so it's obviously D doing something. It's got to be the ball. Yeah, yeah. Must be the ball. It must yeah. be the ball. <laughs> Actually, I teed it up and I said, this ball is no different than the rest. It's <laughs> going to be the same, and I played really well, so uh, whether that was a ball, I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, I'll switch to that now. Okay, fantastic. So um, yeah, there's the clubs. Wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Let's get you back on the Asian tour. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, get together and uh, play. That's and I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll show you what a real player. <laughs> yeah, we are. Put we'll, some money on that. We'll just, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just stop there. Okay. So anyway, Cheers. thanks for coming in. Get some comments down below. I think nice selection of clubs there. This one has got to be the main talking point, mm. the circle T. But yeah, it's interesting how you set it up. Again, I'm always interested with the wedges. You know, carrying four wedges, <sighs> got to be. I just, the wedges, like I said, the small gaps down the bottom, and then you just, you hardly ever have sort of 200, 250 in. So yeah. it's, um, I don't mind having a bigger gap there and then having No, no, no I, like, I agree with that. So like, if you're watching at home, is that how you set your set up? Or do you actually believe you need more stuff at the top? Because there's some amateurs that they might have loads of hybrids because they kind of need that help. So. Yeah, get some comments down below. Hope to catch you soon.